So now since we have this ability to hide the specific project, what we want to do essentially is to add this functionality where we can bring it back, we can restore it back. So in, in order to do so, we need to create a button that will show how many tasks are currently being uh, hidden. And then we can click that button, which will present us with the page. And on that page, we'll be able to restore them. So let's go back to our editor. And here in our controller, so basically this index method fires and displays projects.home where we see this these results result set so we're going to create a new um, variable we're going to have to pass in a new variable which will eventually hold the the projects that that are excluded from the query like the trash project projects so let's just call this one projects trash and give me we're going to say authenticated user Um, has projects only trash and then get uh, sorry this is uppercase so projects trash is a variable that holds the all the projects that have been trashed so authentic user has projects has only trash and get them all and then we're going to pass it in this um, uh, view using compact PHP functions. So projects now we have access to this variable in our view. So we'll open our view which is right here and here we are going to add another button that will if if there is any count in that variable for example it's more than zero we want to display that button. And how we want to do that is essentially in this we're just going to copy this and add a, a check. If there is count of projects trashed and make sure to end it, then I want to display this button. And this button has, uh, it's going to fire a URL. We're going to create a new route. We're going to say it projects slash trash. We haven't, uh, be mindful, we haven't really created that route yet, but we will in a minute. So projects trash, it's going to have a class of BTN. Let's just give it a BTN brad because these are the trash projects. And we don't need data dash toggle here, just get rid of that. And what we need here exactly is, let's just display for an awesome FA trash icon. This is the font awesome and we're going to call it, uh, let's say trash. And here I'm going to add another space, non-breakable space. And I'm going to give it a, a badge, which is straight from bootstrap. So a badge and this badge will essentially hold the count of uh, how many trashed how many, whatever is the value inside this count, it's going, going to display as a batch. So I'm just going to copy this here. And I'm going to go here and, and I'm going to say count of projects trash. And that's going to display the count. Now, in our case right now, I think it's three, if I'm not wrong. So let's go ahead and refresh our browser, see what it gives us. At the rate end if is wrong. So it's not if statement, sorry. It's, it's, it is. Uh, I made a mistake here. There's no such. So at the rate if count of projects, then display this button and end if. And then lo let's go back at this time. Hopefully it likes it. It does like it. Awesome. So what we see here is a button with, with a value of, uh, of two projects currently in in the trash or soft lady models. And this is essentially going to fire a different route, which we haven't created yet. So let's go ahead and create that route straight away. So in our routes.php, we are going to add a new route. So we can create it uh, above this. So let's just, uh, let's just copy that. And here I'm going to say get. 
is a get request and I'm gonna say trash and I'm gonna I'm gonna say trashed as well the controller method name so that creates that registers our route and let's just indent make our space a little bit cleaner okay we go back to project controller and here all we want to do is basically create a new method called trashed and it doesn't need any instance it's just going to query all the uh, relative data and display to us what we are doing doing essentially is returning a view and this view is basically going to be here um, right here we're going to create a new new file um, let's just call it or oh, sorry we're going to call a new PHP file and uh, no not here sorry in the projects folder because we're talking about the trash projects and we're going to call it trash dot blade and um, we're going to have to mark up that file in a minute so trash dot blade and that's okay and we can get rid of all this so what we should do how can we do this in a, in a, in a way that it works for our application um, well essentially it's going to be exactly same so why don't we just copy this and some of the things we have to get rid of because some of the things don't we won't make any sense but otherwise we're gonna use a body with side navigation and we're gonna call it here we're gonna call it trash projects and then here we're gonna come back to this in a minute because we'll have to make some changes so let's go back here and register this view which is going to be um, essentially pages dot projects dot trash and there is so much information it requires in order to display that that view if you have a look we also we need these variables today run time and count of counts of uh, projects trashed and then we want to display those projects so we'll go back to our index method and here we're going to copy these variables or let's just copy the whole thing go back here and here we can paste and we can just update this the view name with this file and that should be all good to go so we need today variable we need current time we don't really need the projects because we, we won't be using them so we can get rid of that for now we need authenticated user and we also need projects trashed so you can get rid of the projects here and that should be enough for now so this is going to serve our view the routes are good and then in our trash now let's work on this file this file right here what it does it displays um, the title is going to be here trash project and then we want to display the breadcrumb now what happens with the breadcrumb is um, that it's going to display time in this window we can display time that's fine okay here right here we're gonna create a order list and in the order list it's going to have a class of breadcrumb and here I'm gonna create an ally and that ally is going to have an anchor tag which has which is going to basically we are coming from the projects to the trash projects so it's going to essentially point uh, back to projects so the user can go back to projects if he wants to and then what else we want to do here we have a row we have a um, we have buttons and let's just um, let's just create a div with um, additional classes here or we can we need buttons for sure 
but instead of new project we want to go back to the project so back to projects and this instead of href this we can say same this url to go back to the projects so if somebody wants to go back to the projects he just want to have a log he should be able to do so and of course we can get rid of the model window we don't need that so back to the projects and uh, we need this variable if there is count of projects but we need to change this button because this time when a user clicks uh, sorry when a user clicks clicks on the this button he goes inside uh, the view to open a new view where you can see all the all the trashed projects but we don't want to display this button again because it's he's already inside there so we essentially we want to display another option for example we can say you can restore them all so we can call it here um, restore all something like that and that's going to be a green button and we can say trash or we can say check here different different kind of font like font or some icon and let's just say restore all and then of course we can still leave the badge with the count of uh, the projects trashed still like that now this uh, method is not registered so obviously we'll have to we'll come back to this view in a minute and we'll go back here and create that route and as well as the method now what we can just create it right below this method we can call it restore all so restore all and we can create this route and we can add also the, the name of the method same as route and then let's go ahead here and we, we can create restore all restore all, all is basically pretty simple um, because it's a it's a restore uh, it's a restore it's a restore all it doesn't need an instance of project it's just going to restore all the projects so what we're going to do is essentially get rid of all this and we can also get rid of actually we can get rid of everything and let's just build from scratch so what we're trying to say when we say restore all is remove the date date stamp that's set to delete it at and for all the projects that are trashed and then just set them back to null so they will be available in the query that's what essentially we are saying and how to do so is it's very easy um, the way we did here only trashed we can copy this bit and instead of getting them we can call a method on on this query and we can say restore isn't that cool it's just one line of code and it's just so easy so we're talking about authenticated user has projects relationship eloquent relationship and give me all the projects that are trashed and restore them and then we want to return redirect um, we can say let's go back to the projects because there are no trash projects anymore so we don't want to stay in that inside that view we'll go back to the projects view right now we are in projects uh, we will be in the projects trash so once there once we restore them all there are no trash projects so we will go back to the projects that's that makes complete sense and once you come back you won't see this button anymore because there are no trash projects this button won't display so there will be no chance to to enter that anyway there's no reason to be in there so we go back to the projects and uh, we say let's just display a notification here and we'll give it success notification and we'll say all trash projects have have been all trash projects restored why we need to just make it just make it simple so all trash projects restored and let's just indent this a little bit okay good so that will do this th this bit and uh, it's already registered here so it's all good let's go back to the view finish our view now in this view we'll create a button that will let the user restore all the projects it doesn't require an instance of project because we are we're just running a get request that's one thing i forgot to do so let's go back to the routes for one second it's uh, that's okay so both of them are get requests that's fine 
we don't need to change anything i thought i just copied and pasted post patch or del deleted one of them one of the other requests uh, but no i just copied this one so it's good just want to make sure it's a get request that's fine now the next thing you want to do is really like build this table which was which is essentially going to be going to look same and the only thing is this variable here instead of projects we don't have this variable anymore uh, from the controller in this method so instead of this we change it to project trash if there are any projects that have been trashed then what I want to do is essentially uh, the fields are going to remain the same and what essentially I want to do is basically here you change the variable again before you loop over this variable all the fields are same and you want to display all the information related to that um, those projects for example if they have any tasks you can display those tasks and of course all the dates and everything but these buttons right here uh, maybe we're going to change them a little bit but right now you can leave them like that and see if the view works first and the all, all other thing you can find you can do here is instead of here no no uh, projects found you can say no uh, no no trashed projects found so begin by creating a new project or you can say something different here go back to go back to uh, go back to let's just say go back to projects go back to projects go back to projects and this is not going to be a model and just just give give projects and that's fine and here we don't need these model windows why do we need these model windows in the trash project i mean we if you want to make if you want to add a new project you can't see any new project in the trash you will be you'll have to go back to projects anyway or if you want to update you can update a project in a trash but then why not we restore it before we we want to make any changes so let's just remove them for now because you're going to have to provide edit button here but instead of that we're going to provide restore and delete buttons so let's go back to the browser and see where we stand right now. So refresh. Everything looks okay. There are two projects that are currently in, in uh, trash. Let's take a look at them. And when we go inside this, what we see is an error. So undefined variable projects in line number 38. So I must have missed uh, somewhere on line number 38, which is here. But there is no variable here. Uh, let me take a look it'll just take a moment and we just want to make sure that button is firing and uh, trash pages projects trashed and here projects this is always uh, sometimes um, the bug is always um, part of the part of the game part of the game um, while you're trying to build something this is always going to happen because um, the coding is always immersive it takes a lot to do coding and I can't find anything like that let's let's troubleshoot this for a second so we're going to the correct route that's correct and then undefined variable projects in side navigation so this is a great way to understand what what's happening here so there's a side navigation we have we haven't really touched it at all so in the side nav it's complaining which means we still need that variable here in our project controller so we'll go up here and copy um, copy this variable here projects trash sorry about that I should have foreseen that but I wanted to show you how to troubleshoot these kind of things because um, that's another thing we need to be good at so we can troubleshoot a problem like really quickly and we can understand what actually caused the application to fail let's see if it likes it now so side navigation which means okay good so this looks pretty good and when you press this button right here it brings up the side navigation which means I'm locked in and these are the projects so we, we haven't we, we're displaying the project 
here but this is like kind of confusing because these are not the trash projects these are the usual projects but that's okay we'll work on this once everything else is finished that's that's what we can improve that's okay but right now it needs access to this variable so it can output the and it can run a loop and display the project name and id and stuff that's okay don't worry about this this is our view this is our breadcrumb if we click here we can go back to the projects and we can get inside the trashed um, projects this will keep building as we we drill deep inside our tree now here we have three buttons we haven't really worked on that but that's what our next obvious step is so we can go back to the projects from this link which takes us back to the projects let's go back again I'm just trying to check everything is working and now if I try to restore there are two projects here two and three if I try to restore all it should bring it back to the projects and take us back as, as well so let's do that so restore all brings these two projects back all trash projects restored and you can see the button is no longer visible because there are no trash projects and because the reason there are no trash projects here the count of projects trashed is zero we will never be able to see this button and that makes complete sense but when I hide this the moment I hide this the count becomes one and it displays a button so we are able to go inside and we can make some changes we can hide it just don't worry about these buttons right now in the next video I'm gonna create a restore and a delete button we're gonna create two different methods one will be restore and one will be delete forever so right now they are soft deleted they do exist in our database here if you refresh it you will notice two projects are set to null deleted that is set to null one is set to uh, whatever the timestamp whenever they were set to, they were hidden so it's this project tests gibberish and if you go back here you see tests gibberish so when you go back or you store them all and then you you can see all the projects are uh, available to our query and we can go back to our database schema and just refresh it here and we see all of them set to null so that concludes uh, this video in this video we created our functionality where we can hide this and it lets us uh, restore the project in the next video we'll be going for a permanent delete and a restore uh, right now we can only restore all of them but we want to restore selected projects so we'll be going over those those methods so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video